Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first and foremost, I, I, on behalf of Niagara University and our hockey program, I want to thank uh, Atlantic Hockey and, and namely Commissioner DiGregorio for, for granting us this opportunity and giving us a home. And uh, uh, Commission, your staff, and, and what you've done with this, with this new and young league has been remarkable. We are thrilled and honored that, uh, that we're now a part of it. And I want to thank Ed McLaughlin, my athletic director, my boss, who certainly supports our program at Niagara to the utmost, and also for his vision and, and making this happen as well. And the schools and the other ADs in the league for, uh, for taking Niagara and Robert Morris when we could be out there without a home. I thank all the schools, and, and it's a great league with some, some great academic institutions and great hockey programs and some great coaches as well. So we're, we're thrilled. Um, to be a part of this. You know, I think our goal coming in, you know, we're proud of our hockey history at Niagara, what we've accomplished in our 14, uh, first uh, 14 season. And I think our goal is just to come in and, and uh, you know, I, I think the word that comes to mind when I think of Atlanta hockey is growth. And if, if Niagara can come in and help this league grow, continue to grow, um, that would be a great thing. And I think we have a lot to offer. I think the geographic rivalries that are now in place are going to be outstanding for the league. I think our location, the size of our media market, the fact that we're in an NHL city, um, I think we can really uh, come in and help the league grow. So we're thrilled. Um, you know, it's, it's the time of year as a coach, we're so excited. Spend the whole summer, I have a magnet board, my depth chart on the back of my door, and every day in the summer I come in and play with lines and matchups. It's at that time of year, you're, you know, the juices are flowing and it's so fresh and it's just nice to be in a, a league with 12 teams and, and uh, we can't wait to get after it. So we're thrilled and uh, thanks for having us. Uh, at this time, if there's any questions in, at the Blue Cross Arena, please raise your hand and ask Coach Burkholder right now. It's amazing. It, it was, you know, I felt a part of it, and I think, uh, you know, the outreach from some of my former teammates and, you know, had interaction. I was on the NCAA committee, so I actually was at the games and, and uh, felt very special and very proud of what RIT has RIT accomplished. It was a remarkable, remarkable run, and, um, you know, we aspire to do what they're doing, so it was uh, very special. I think, you know, obviously what RIT did last year in their returning cast, I mean, I think Lou said it best, they, you know, they definitely have the target. Certainly respect what Air Force has done, um, you know, especially in the postseason, past few years in this league, and, and then, you know, after that, it's probably, probably up for grabs from there. It's really hard, and I've you know thought about coming into the league, and we've had a handful of games in Atlanta hockey, but so it's hard to have a feel for for where we fit in or what's going to transpire this this year. But and it's different when you play a non-conference game. You know, you can see it in the pre pre-game polls for the players. They're worried. You know, we play RIT last year. They're worried about their weekend against Beaches or Air Force, and not you know one game against Niagara. So it's been difficult to. Kind of gauge where we would fit in. You know, I, I think it means a lot for our players. We were a young team last year. We had ten freshmen, and most nights we dressed all ten. Um, I think eight smallest number of freshmen that we dressed in. So for them to have that experience um, at RIT, you know, the game was sold out and, you know, obviously their, their corner crew in the band, it's a very, very tough place to play. And uh, for us to have success, you know, not only last year, but, you know, a couple of years uh, previous to that, I think our guys, you know, are going to have to use those experiences to get us through this year. Questions from the uh, conference call media? Yeah, 
I, I think it's great. I think it's a testament to the guys in the locker room. You know, we're coming off, uh, you know, a year that certainly wasn't uh, wasn't one of our best in our 14-year history. But again, you know, I think the um, the experience of the young team that we did uh, gain last year, hopefully, hopefully going to build off that. But I, you know, I appreciate it. As Mr. Spiotti said, it's just a uh, preseason coaches poll, but certainly. Uh, Certainly okay with where we plugged in today. Coach Burkle. 